Hey guys, I'm Tamara, the food director at Woolworths Fresh Magazine, and today I am so excited because I'm going to share my secret for the best pickling formula, the only recipe you'll ever need to pickle any fresh fruit or vegetables. Pickles are so great because they just amp up any dish. They're sweet, tangy, crunchy, delicious. You need this recipe, let's get started. Okay, so clean hands and I'll talk you through the ingredients that we're gonna need. So you can choose any fresh fruit and vegetables that you like, literally anything. But what is great for pickling are hard veg like carrots. You can also use things like cucumber. I've got some little cute baby cukes here. Um, and then to make our brine for our pickling liquid, I've got some white vinegar. You can use any vinegar that you like, red wine vinegar, rice wine vinegar for some Japanese style pickles. And then I've got some rock salt some caster sugar, and then I've got some things to kind of give some flavor to your pickle. I've got some cumin seeds, coriander seed, bay leaves, but I've also got some things like fresh herbs, which are great as well. So we're just gonna start off by making the brine and it is super simple. So this is the easiest ratio and it'll be super simple to remember. So for every one cup of vinegar, you need one cup of water, one tablespoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of salt. That's it, like how easy is that? All right, so I've got a deep pot. I'm just gonna add two cups of vinegar, so I'm doubling that recipe. And because I've got two cups of vinegar, I need two cups of water, which means I need two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of salt. So I'm just gonna turn the heat on now. And pretty much we just need to heat that for a few minutes until the salt and the sugar has completely dissolved. And in that time, I'm gonna chop some veggies. So you can do this however you like. So you can peel things into ribbons, you can cut things into rounds, um, you can shred stuff. So I'm using some little baby cubes and I'm just simply quartering them. So this is super simple to do at home. And now onto the collie blossom. So these are just so beautiful as they are. So I really don't want to you know, do too much of it to its form. So I'm just gonna simply halve them. So you can see like that, you can still see the beautiful shape of the floret. All right, cabbage. So I'm just gonna simply shred this cabbage. The pickles are just so great to add to things like barbecued meat dishes or roast. It just adds extra zing to every dish. So I've just chopped up all those vegetables and this pot of brine has just come to the boil. So I'm just gonna turn that off now and just allow it to cool slightly before I add it to the jars. By doing that, it means that your veggies are gonna stay lovely and fresh and crispy and bright, and you're not gonna cook the vegetables. So we're gonna start building our jars, and this is actually my favorite part because you get to be a little bit creative with what you put in there. So I've got some fresh herbs, but you could also use dried herbs like bay leaves, and then we've also got some pickling spice. You can buy this already you know, pre-done from the shops, but essentially some mustard seeds, coriander seed, peppercorns, things like that are great. So into this tall jar, I'm gonna pop the collie blossom. So just drop it in there. So you just wanna fill up your jar, but not too full that the brine won't completely cover them because that's really what's gonna help preserve them. And then I've just got some of my spices that I can just drop in. So you can give that a shake and get some down the side of the jar. And then you can also pop some herbs in too. So I've got some lemon thyme here that I'm gonna put in. Get in there. All right, so my collie blossoms are done, so I'm gonna move on to my little cukes, which cukes are actually my favorite. These are so great to pickle. Um, so just grab some of your cucumbers and just start putting them in. And if you wanna start putting some herbs in now so they face on the outside of the jar, that's really beautiful too. I'm using fresh dill. So you can use things like smashed garlic cloves or you can use chili flakes, whatever you like. So for some lovely vibrant color, you could also do some red cabbage. That is a really great pickle as well. So I've got some shredded cabbage here. So again, I'm just gonna put that into the jar. This one I'm not gonna really be fussy with how I arrange it in the jar. And again, just adding some spices to this. Give it a little bit of a shake to just, ooh, <laughs> to distribute some of those spices. And what's gonna happen with your spices in that brine as you leave it in the fridge is all the flavors are gonna to meld together and you're gonna get that beautiful flavor through your pickle. 
All right, so we boiled our brine and then we allowed it to cool. So it was about say 10, 15 minutes. So it's still just a tiny bit lukewarm, but yeah, definitely cool to the touch. And I've just got a funnel to help me out as well, just so there's no mess. So just stick the funnel into the jar and then just literally just pour this brine over the top. And we wanna keep going until all the vegetables are completely covered. So if you don't have a funnel, you don't have to use one. It is nice to pour it from a jug though. So you can just pour it straight in like that. Just keep going until it's completely covered. So I've put all the same color vegetables into each jar, but you could also put different vegetables together and layer them up in a nice colored jar. And these will be ready in about two days. If you do want them sooner and you can't wait, then just make sure you really finely slice those vegetables so they will be ready quicker. So you should use sterilized jars and to do that, it is just easy to pop them into the dishwasher or if you don't have a dishwasher, you can wash them in some warm soapy water and then just leave them to dry in a low oven. Pickles are really great to give as gifts. Guys, pickles, so simple, so easy to do at home and this is the best pickling recipe and the only pickling recipe you'll ever need. You can use them in everything. So you can use them in salads, in sandwiches, with roast meats, with barbecued meats, on a pizza, in a cocktail, whatever you like. So give this pickling recipe a go today. I actually just really love pickles. <laughs> um, you're not meant to have a favorite pickle, but I love this one. 